Hi everybody, welcome. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about getting your Aries uh, gradebook set up and um, how to um, start uh, creating classes in it. Uh, the first thing you need to do is once you sign on and you're in your dashboard, you can hit the Aries button uh, and then it will load Aries. If you just give it a second, it will actually single sign on so you don't have to have another sign on for it and it's actually gonna uh, link you in. Once you are in this area right here, you have a couple of areas that you need to go to. And you're going to want to go right here where it says Gradebook. So if you click on Gradebook, and it's going to allow you to create Gradebooks. So for the sake of today, I wanted to create a Gradebook so you guys can see how you do it and how you can get those in there um, before uh, the district sends things home. So up here in the top you have this add grade book if you click on the add grade book it's going to allow you to create a new grade book uh, my suggestion to you is not to collect uh, to click on the single term but do the trimester so a trimester goes from august 19th to november 13th so all the grades within this trimester will be set in here if you hit the year one which is not recommended your grade book will show the grades for the whole year and calculate the grades throughout the whole year. So um, my suggestion would be to click just the first trimester, which we have tried, or if you're, you're gonna do this the second trimester, then you do the second trimester. Down here, if you are elementary school, you're gonna have two different levels that you uh, that they have actually downloaded for you. The first one will say your, your grade level. So if you teach fifth grade, it'll be fifth grade. The section number 1501 is my section number. So it's under Ireland, that, that's the section. If I was planning on using other kids from other classrooms, uh, you can use this one to actually download other kids that are in fifth grade that are in your school, okay? So for the sake of doing this right now, I'm gonna just click on my class right there, okay? And then you can see that it's populated a grade book. Um, these numbers here are are for, you know, you can do if there are different periods that you're using. If you're in, in uh, middle school or high school, you can change the period. Um, I usually just keep it as one for the first trimester. And then when I make the new one, they'll put two for the second trimester. And then here, you're going to want to change the name uh, to whatever uh, grade book you're doing. OK, so maybe it's reading. OK or you could put uh, langu um, language arts, okay? So you go ahead and put, put the name of your grade book there, and then, I'm gonna go like this, and then you hit save, okay? So now my grade book is set up and ready to go. The only problem is, is that there are no people in the grade book. So it takes me back here, we just filled all this out, and then it gives me options. And I'm gonna go through these a little bit with you. The first button over from your edit gradebook is your option button, okay? This gives you access or people access to your gradebook. Um, some primary teachers that I know do not want to show uh, their grades uh, to their parents all the time. There is hide this gradebook from parents and students. So you can click on here and they can't access your gradebook, okay? Um, up here, uh, you can read all these. I won't read them to you. Um, this is the biggest one. If you do weighted scores on assignments, uh, you're going to want to click here. Um, weighted is like, let's say you want 6% uh, of your total grade to be test, 40% homework. So you can actually assign those uh, to those. So no matter if you do 5,000 points of homework, it's only going to be worth 40% of your grade. Okay, so that's why you'd want to do weighted if, you, if you'd like to do that. Um, down here, there is a um, display the final marks to me or to the parents or to both, whatever you decide to do. This is what it defaults to, but you can always change that, okay? All right, so that, that is your option tab. The next tab is if you're doing weighted scores or not weighted scores, you have to add a category. So let's say that I'm just going to add one category that says classwork, okay? And I can even change the color of it. Okay, and then save. So now everything that I'm going to do is gonna be set under classwork. 
Okay, now I'm going to skip the assignment tab because we don't have any assignments in there as of right now, but I'm going to go to manage students. Okay, so right now in this grade book, I have no students added. I did add the section number that has my students, but I can add whichever students I want. So if I do add, um, add students, let's see, add students right here. Okay. So if I hear add students, it's actually going to bring up all my students that I have enrolled in my class right now. All I have to do is I can go up here and I can uh, add all students or I can just add the ones that I want to add if you want to use several grade books. Also, if you want to pull kids in from your own school, you can add students that are not in your class, but maybe they're in your partner's class and you're going to do science with them. OK, so you can do that. This is the part that you guys have uh, you, your final marks. So right now it is always uh, defaults to this grading scale right here, but you can always change it by making these zeros. So if you want to make them zeros and only use S, um, S, N, and U, and O, you can do that. Uh, you could do one, twos, and threes if you want. Uh, you can do pass or pass with distinctions on here also that we used last year. So you can add percentages of what you want each thing to do. Reminder, just make these zero if you're not going to use A, B, C, or D. If you're going to use O, S, and U, you can set like, uh, you know, 85% to 100 is an O, and then you can do um, what have you, and you can do it that way. So this will allow you to actually set up your um your grade book the way you want wanted to uh, to do it okay um this is the best way to hold uh your grades and if you if you notice here i can go back to my dashboard and it will show me all the ones that i've already set up and this is the one i just set up uh um today this reading one right here so i hope this helps uh this is just an introduction to how to set up a grade book um I hope you have a great year and um, good luck to you.